a ballistic trencher fleet can be very, very powerful in the right hands. Today, I'm going to show you how to build one. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. As I said, a ballistic trencher fleet is very powerful, and I'm going to show you how to build one. Before anyone freaks out at me for sharing the PvP builds, most high-level players, most big PvP alliances already have builds like this and have been using them, so I'm not really hurting any of those people. I'm helping the average player by sharing this sort of thing. I will be posting the Kixai hash code in the YouTube description, so you can just copy and paste it right there if you want the build. Although, of course, I recommend watching this and understanding all the different weapons and specials that I'm putting on here because that's how you help that's how you help yourself to be a better pirate. I'm also going to show you a replay, a video of this thing in action at the end, which is really important to know how to use this thing because I've had players who know how to use this sort of fleet to crush my base and players who don't die almost instantly when they enter at the wrong spot. So I'm going to start out by showing you the build. This is a Ballista Trencher Fleet, and the weapon that you want to use is really the only choice for this one. It's the one that comes with your fleet. This is the Prime Agitator Cannon. With this weapon, you'll notice that it has two different sources of damage. It has the regular damage, which is 270,000 damage against buildings from the normal weapon, as well as this special ability that has a 3% chance to trigger a pack blast, and this deals 338,000 damage against enemy buildings. And you really only care about the building damage for this hole. Yes, ship damage is nice, but we don't really have any good guard fleets that actually are good at stopping these things and have millions of health that need to be stopped, because the gatekeepers don't really work very well against a trencher fleet. Now that we have the weapons out of the way, let's talk about the specials. I'm going to tell you what we sort of want to boost so you can understand this. We obviously need some sort of engine, we need to boost ballistic range, ballistic damage, and building damage. Tactical field resistance is also very important, and I'll talk about that when I put that specific special or those specials on the whole. Combat speed and evade are also things to consider. First of all, the engine. This is a very easy choice, and you should be using the limited onslaught engine right here, which is one that has been out in the game for months now. It's been available in pillage, in the raid. It should be in bounty more often, but there is the special you want to use there, the onslaught engine. As a substitute, I'm going to give a substitute for pretty much all of these. You can use something like Speed System 6, which is not a great option, but it is your, another option you can use if you're a lower level player. Although if you can't even get 5 Onslaught Engines, you might have a little bit more trouble than a Trencher build right here. By the way, take all my advice here with a grain of salt. As you can see, I have like 450 medals, which is not a lot, and medals don't really mean much, but I am not the best PvP player out there, contrary to popular opinion. So, the next special you're going to go for is something that boosts building damage, and really the only choice here, because again, you're trying to do the highest building damage possible, is Siege Targeting 4. You could go for something like Siege Warhead, Siege Reloaders 2, or Siege Targeting 3 as a possible substitute, but you really should have this thing right here. And plus 165% building damage means that you are dealing two and a half times the building damage you would normally be dealing without the special. So this is very, very important and can be the make or break difference bet between your fleets. Okay, now that we have some building damage, why stop there? Let's add even more with the Conquest Battery. If you don't have this thing, you could use Siege Battery 4. In fact, some people may prefer that because it deals 13% more building damage, but I like Conquest Battery because you gain bonus combat speed, which is great, good for blitzing past enemy bases, which I will show you in a replay at the end. Okay. Another special here you're going to want to go for is one that many players are running on most of their ships, and that is ECM Dampener. You're putting this on here because it has evade bonus, which is good against enemy far sides, enemy decimators. It also has tactical field resistance. Tactical field resistance is very important for any of the, well, tactical fields that enemies are running on their enemy warehouses, their outposts, etc. This helps those be much less effective. Tactical field resistance is, is very important. This also adds slow and stun resistance. Stun, re stun resistance will help against, well, stuns, and slow resistance helps against slow specifically from enemy weapons, such as the missile on the Gorgon that will actually slow your ships down a little bit. It doesn't always help, it does not help against slows from aura fields. That's where you need tactical field resistance for that. 
If you want to go some other special, you could go Agility System 4, or even consider the Shield Attack System 3 to still increase Tactical Field Resistance, because Tactical Field Resistance is one of the most important stats for an offensive hole, that, a base hitting hole that you don't really think about. Now we're almost into the more specialized things, and let's give a tip while we're partway through here. Don't just build a ship completely like this. Build a blank hole first when you have enough titanium and then start refitting things on there. Refitting things onto the ship will save you build time because of the various benefits you have from upgrading your buildings as well as R&D. So what, what at the end it's going to be like a 10, 14 day build time is actually 30% lower or something like that because you can refits take a shorter amount of time than just building things on here. Okay, now our last two specials. Notice we haven't boosted any sort of ballistic damage or range right now, so we're going to do that. What we're going to use here is an older special that boosts ballistic range here. This is the Streamline Barrel Loaders right here. Adds 50% ballistic range, which is standard, and then Ballistic Reload is nice, which boosts your damage per second. Although the actual damage from one volley is still very, very important from this hole here. You can go for something else that boosts ballistic range too. Just make sure it stacks with everything else at the end when you're done if you for some reason don't have this special. The last special is going to be one that boosts specifically ballistic damage. My preference right here would be something like high velocity rounds which boosts it uh, a lot as well as some projectile speed and more building damage but obviously you can't stack that building damage on top of the building damage you already have so we're going to go for ballistic calibrator right here which increases ballistic damage projectile speed which is good if the enemy is wearing some sort of anti-ballistic gorgon or high guard warden and ballistic, ballistic accuracy does, has zero effect against buildings because you have a 100% you always hit enemy buildings and you can't miss okay so there is a special build for you right now, but we haven't done armors yet. The first armor slot you're going to want to go for is one that you put on almost all your PvP holes in this current game. That is the D6TA armor, which increases your tactical field resist by 50%. That's great, and you can only put one of those on your holes. This is going to bring your tactical, tactical field resistance up to 63% right here, which is great, which means that an enemy were to reduce your reload by 30%. But now only reducing it by more like 12%, 14%, something like that. For these last two armors, you have several choices. You could go for something that actually works against what the enemy weapons are dealing, such as explosive plate or ballistic plate, or if penetrative weapons come relevant again in the meta, you could go for penetrative plate. I'm going to recommend something Else, I'm going to recommend the Zinth Armor D5 EV, which adds Evade, which is great against Farsights, as well as Decimators charging straight into those, and it also adds Combat Speed, which makes your ship easier to charge in and deals, and you can get closer to the enemy more quickly. Before I start the replay, let's give a little talk about specials that are important on pretty much all Conqueror builds ever. Almost all, if not all, the Conqueror builds that I'm currently running or currently plan to build is they're all going to have this specific armor plate, they all have the this engine, siege targeting, conquest battery, and ECM dampener. Because all of those specials add movement, they add evade, they add siege, they add building damage, and they also add tactical field resist. Those are the very important stats you want to buff on pretty much any hull regardless. I am planning on doing a Warhound video very soon, and this the Warhound build I'm using is very, very similar to this trencher build. There's a little teaser for you. Let's go ahead and look at a replay, and I will have the Kickside hash code available in the YouTube description again, so go ahead and check that out if you haven't, and save that in your shipyard. And with those codes, I've had several people ask me about it, you just copy that to your clipboard, control C, go into the share button right here, and you click control V, paste it in there, copy paste, as simple as that. Here is a replay of a player attacking my base. I don't have this fleet built up yet. It's the next thing I'm planning on building, even before my health swarms, actually. This player enters directly at my channel. I have had other people fail because they enter at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock and end up completely dying because they mistimed my gatekeepers. With this fleet, you want to charge in, shift-click the portals, and then you can almost one-shot them. This first one is a level 3. It gets pretty much one-shotted with the small amount of damage that the that the inbuilt missile actually did. You're charging straight into the gatekeeper, straight into the decimator cannons, they don't matter. 
targeting my second portal, which dies in pretty much one shot, as well as my third portal, which dies in also pretty much one shot. There is some amount of RNG you can expect on this hole because of that special ability 3% trigger chance there, as I stated when I was talking about the build. At this point, this player is easily into my base. They completely went over the gatekeepers. To defend against this, you need to slow them down with some sort of stun action in your base first, or some sort of other way to slow the enemy down. At this point, when you're attacking them, you, you've, you've won at this point if you're in your base. You can target the outpost over the mountains with your inbuilt missile if you want to, or you can just drive around completely wreaking havoc. I have no hope against this fleet at this point. Again, you enter directly at the channel, charge straight over the portals, shift-clicking them to pretty much one-shot them. Sometimes takes two shots if you get unlucky, and then you kill all the key buildings easily. I have slightly updated my base defense since this one, but this fleet is still really good and is still walking my base. So once you get this fleet built, you should be doing pretty well against most bases, and a correct trencher fleet can beat pretty much all bases in today's game. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, and I will do my best to get back to you. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.